Hi everyone, Scott here from Carton Club. In today's video, I'm going to be taking you through how to generate a replenishment from within the application. So within, within Carton Club, with replenishment active, under warehouse, we have replenishments. Now on this particular screen is where we can see any completed historical replenishments, but also any upcoming planned replenishments as well. To create a new replenishment, click add replenishment in the top left hand corner. Now on this particular screen is where we set up some initial settings about how specific we want the replenishment to be. So looking at the name field, I have the ability to name the replenishment report, which I'm going to do by adding the customer name to the front. And you'll see I've got the option to insert placeholders. Now these values will be replaced by the actual data when I choose to save the replenishment. Looking on the left hand side of the screen here, I've got some filters in terms of which customers and products I want to run the replenishment on. By leaving these fields blank, we're, we're choosing to include every possible customer to do a replenishment on, but I might not want to do that. So in this example, I'm going to go and select my specific customer that I want to run the replenishment on. I can do it for specific products, but in this scenario, I'm going to choose to do all the products and I can choose to do specific product types. Now, a good example of this is I may choose to do only the chilled products. So I may only want to operate the replenishment for any product that is considered chilled. It may be in a chiller. Again, by leaving that value blank, I choose to include all product types. Now, pick face locations is potentially I have multiple rows with multiple pick faces in each. And in order to make the replenishment a little bit more manageable, I may choose to run a replenishment just on a particular row. So I select the start location and an end location, and it would include all pick face locations in between and only run the replenishment on that particular combination of pick faces. On the right hand side of the screen here, I've got the plan date that I choose to do the replenishment. So again, with that in mind, I can run them on the day of, but I can also plan to do them in advance if I want to. Now the stock selection options is where in the warehouse are we going to look to, in order to pull the pallets from. So on the left hand side of the screen, we were looking at the product types that we wanted to replenish. But I can also specify the product, the location product types of the locations I want to pull the stock from. So if I had locations that were flagged as oversized, potentially, I could limit this replenishment to only try and deplete from any locations that are tagged as oversized in the location product type. Same thing for the stock selection locations is I want to try and limit my replenishment to only pull from a certain range of locations. A good example is let's say that we have a new customer coming on board and we want to potentially empty out some space for that new customer coming online. We may choose to run the replenishment on that particular area to try and help with emptying those areas out to make space for that new customer coming on board. Again, by leaving those values blank, we're leaving it open to Cart and Cloud to just simply apply the stock selection method that we've set against the product um, to go and find the most efficient um, or the shorter shelf life and move that into the pick face. So once we've set up those settings, we have the ability to save these settings. Um, and where that's super important is that the next time I come to co come in and run a replenishment potentially for Coastal, I no longer have to go through and set up all of the settings below. I simply come in and select my pre-filled settings and I just go through and, and fire away and, and set that up. Um, it's all about making it uh, quicker for you guys to set it up um, moving forward. So the first time you configure all your default settings that you would like and then each time it's just a case of just selecting those pre-filled settings and going and moving on. So once I'm done, I scroll down to the bottom. I have the option to select save if I want to come back to it or I click start to then go and start the replenishment. Now at the moment, uh, the, the idea behind this is to use this replenishment report in conjunction with scan move two on the mobile. 
So on this particular screen, we have the same methodology that we do with Carton Cloud's stock tank module. You'll have some predefined filters along the top to reduce the amount of data that you see on screen. Now where that's important is let's say that we have a replenishment that is 100 lines long. We might not want a single user to run all of those tasks. So you might decide to filter the from locations, so that's the locations that we're pulling the stock from, um, to a certain range. And you may choose to print that out and hand that to a particular user. You then apply a new filter, hand that section out to a particular user. And then as they come back, you have the ability to mark them as done. Um, we will show you in a later video on how to run the replenishment physically out on the floor.